Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for another little tutorial. Today I'm doing another t um, tutorial in BD Armory. The last one I did was a turret tutorial, which is probably quite translatable to some of the things we're looking at today. But the main thing I'm looking at today is setting up the AI autopilot, as some of you may know. Um, recently in the BD Armory mod, so, uh, the developer has added the ability to let an AI fly your planes. So this, as an example, say you wanted to set up an air battle, a dogfight, um, you would strap this little module to your plane and it will fly it for it uh, fly it for you and it works with BD Ar with the weapon manager in BD Armory and the uh, weapon manager will tell the autopilot kind of what to do and it will fly around and try and attack the enemy planes or you can have it on your team and it will attack basically the opposite team because in BD Armory there's team A and team B so the autopilot will basically chase down and hunt down the enemy planes and the uh, weapon manager will attack the enemy plane. So that's the basis of how it works, and it is so simple. It's um, one of my favorite mods. It works absolutely perfectly. I never have any problems with Bidi Armory. Um, when you have lots of mods together, like uh, in Collaborative Warfare, you do get some problems, but Bidi Armory is really great. So, what do you need? Well, if you're having a battle, you're going to need some weapons. So that's what I've put on here. I've put on a few weapons. All BD Armory parts can be found in the utility menu. Um, or you can make yourself a little, uh, like, thing here, I guess. Um, I've never used any of these, uh, because I've been playing for KSP for too long. But yeah, if you want to know all about the guns and setting up a turret and such, you can watch my other video, and that'll probably help with this. But yeah, so I've picked out a 30mm cannon, which swivels, which is quite good, because then it'll, you know, pick out a target better. Um, and that's all found here. I don't know where exactly where the 30mm uh, cannon is. It's here. So you'd grab that, put it on there. You obviously need ammo for that, so I put that back here. And a couple of Hellfire missiles, which can be found here um, on some rails, which can be found here on, under the wing. So that'll just give me some fight. Um, so obviously the first thing I'm going to need to do is put on a weapon manager to control my weapons so that it will try to kill enemy targets and will make it actually on a team. Um, and to fly it with an AI, you will need the AI pilot, autopilot manager, whatever it's called, it is found here on the first page of utility, AI pilot flight computer. And now that works, that's done. Um, so if we put that on, on the runway, we can show you, I'll show you how to set it up. It is that simple, you just put those two modules on it, they'll work together to hunt down anything they want to kill. So, um, there are a few different settings that you might want to play with and get right, I'm just going to quick save right now. Uh, so on the AI, you right click on the um, AI flight computer and you get a few options. Um, these, well default altitude is just where it flies by default, you know, fairly obvious minimum altitude is rough minimum altitude, it might go a little below, a little above, or it might pull out of a turn too hard and crash, but that's going to be roughly where it tries to stick to. Steer factor is just how hard you steer, steer limiter is just obviously limiting the steering to whatever degree, steer dampening is how much it dampens your steering. I usually set it to 5 because 10 is way too much, 1 is too little, and yeah, max speed is just obviously your maximum speed. So, um, once you've got them all set up how you want, I guess you can do it how you want, this is just how I usually leave it, as long as steer dampening is 5, you activate pilot, and activate your engine, and it's done. And now it'll fly itself, which is quite nice, um, super simple. That's how you do it. I know it can be kind of confusing when I first uh, did this, it took me a while, I was like, can it really be that simple? It can. Um, so it's taken off now. And that's good, but say I want it to kill Fighter 1 on the ground, although this is also Fighter 1. It's a clone! There can be only one Fighter 1. So we'll set it to Team B, we'll set the guard mode, which is exactly the same as setting up a turret in my in the um, video I made last, which you can go and watch if you want to know how to do that. And the AI um, computer will decide that, oh yeah, let's go kill Fighter 1. So, um, yeah, so it will try and find its way to Fighter 1. Hopefully this will work. It worked last time I tried, but there's a bit of a... A weird thing in KSP, isn't there, where well, there's a bit of a memory leak, but yeah, we'll just let it do its thing. Um, it, I guess the AI is just figuring out its best attack path. Um, and yeah, look, now it's moving in. It's fired its first missile, and Fighter 1 is doomed to die. Very good. The new update to this makes it so much better than it was when I first tried this out, and yeah, there goes the second missile, and now it's switched to the gun. Um, all of these are super comprehensive. You just basically turn them on, and they'll do everything for you. Fighter 1 is now annihilated. Done, but that's no fun. Let's go back to launch, put this in the air, and fight back. Because, you know, we'll have some fun. Um, so yeah, that is how simple it is. I, I don't know if I've gone through it too fast. I can't imagine it would be something that you could really go through too fast. It was just really simple. Um, we'll put this on Team B. I won't put it in guard mode on yet, just because... Um, you know what? No, let's put it on guard mode. Uh, oh, no, not yet. Mm, it's going to try and kill me straight away. 
Okay, we'll get it a little bit in the air. So, um, turn all this up. It'll take off. Almost broke the engine. It's fine. Okay, now I've got to get drop my um, to quit my grin and drop my lin and get in the air. Fight some fighter one before it comes around. Um, yeah, but it is it is so simple. Uh, you just oh shit. Good job, Peter. <laughs> that went well. Um, yeah, it's literally just a matter of turning on the two weapon managers, and they work together so well, which I was impressed with. I thought it would be a bit shit, but it works really well. Very impressed with this mod. Um, we'll switch to Team B, all that stuff. Take off. Guard mode. Um, yeah, the reason I took the, uh, I changed the wheels on the other one is because it used to have these wheels and it didn't, didn't work so good. Okay, it's gonna be coming for me. It's gonna be coming for me. Okay. Okay, let's just hope that it comes around. It will be a little more difficult to take down a moving target, I assume, but I, I imagine it'll, uh, deal with it pretty well. Yep, here it comes. It's gonna take a ride into the danger zone. You're damn right it's taking a ride into the danger zone. I put turrets on it because it has to point to fire the turrets, although I imagine it'll probably just missile me. And the problem is I don't actually have any flares because I keep putting... Oh, forgetting to put flares on my craft. Oh yeah, it fired a couple bullets. A little worried by that. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna have a dogfight with me. And there you go, it took me down. Simple as that. Um, took me down much faster than I took it down. Uh, luckily there's no weapon manager on me anymore, so it probably will tr hopefully stop trying to kill me. But yeah, um, I guess just to recap, you just put an AI flight computer on there. Am I flying? Wow, I'm really good at flying. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you just put an AI flight computer on there, you put a um, weapon manager on there to get the weapons to work. You sl simply turn on guard mode in the way I just did, and if um, that, that was too fast, I have done another video you can go and check out if you really desired, well, if you really want to know exactly how that works. Um, and then obviously the uh, AI flight computer is just a matter of setting these basic settings and hitting, uh, you know, activate pilot. And when it's not trying to kill anything, it'll just fly in some circles. So yeah, that is how simple it is. That is the uh, BD Armory AI flight manager. I hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it has been informative. I am often worried I buzz through things too quickly, but it's so simple, I can't imagine I have. So yeah, as I've said, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Caspi with Tape. I will see you next time. And the link to the mod is in the description. Oh, 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 oh,